maybe we did badly in the exam or something. What exam? We haven't had any exams yet. Maybe someone complained to make Mistress about us? Who would want to compare about such nice, kind, wonderful, helpful and thoughtful people like us? Yeah, maybe one of us is something terribly wrong and because we are such good friends, the headmistress thought that we... Sirene, what did you do this time? Huh? I didn't do anything wrong. Honest. I don't know why the headmistress wants to see us, but I'm very sure it's not because she wants to have tea with us. Well, the only way we're going to find out why she wants to see us is to see her. Okay, let's take a deep breath, walk to the headmistress' room, and hope for the best. Sirene, I said take a deep breath, not hold your breath. Oh. <laughs> Come in. Good morning, 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 Are you sure you don't want the bad news first? Remember that group project for the Love Your Rivers and Lakes competition? The one that the six of you worked on? Well, it has won first prize. Congratulations! Oh, I told you. I told you you won. And you've won 500 ringgit and a free two-day, one-night stay in Tasik Bara, Pahang. Excuse me, Puan Sana. What's the bad news? The bad news? You leave for Tasik Bara this Saturday. Wait a minute, let's not get carried away. We've only got five days to get ready before we leave for Tasebara. Maybe you won't be able to make it. Uh, money, money, money. 500 ringgit. My 500 ringgit. Snap out of it. The money is for all of us, you greedy little. Okay, okay. Let's stay focused. We need to make plans. And fast. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, how are we going to get there? The National Environment Organization was on a van to pick us up here at school. Oh goody, a van. Why? Why won't they send us a, an aeroplane or a helicopter? They will get us there faster. Oh, don't be so impatient, Musa. It's good enough they're giving us a free ride there. Yeah, it's better than having to go there on our own by an express bus or taxi. Yeah, I don't think our parents would let us go by ourselves anyway. My parents won't, for sure. Yeah, you're right, Aida. So when are we leaving? On Saturday, Saturday Sirene. Oops, just checking. Okay, okay. When we get there, who is going to meet us and where are we supposed to go? An officer by the name of Asit Zaharuddin will meet us there. He'll be our guide. Okay, but where do we meet him and at what time? Um, a, at the jetty near the Pisona Resort at 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. Does the letter say what we have to bring along? Um, enough clothes for today's day. That's all. Hey, this is going to be fun. We are going on a boat ride around Tasebara and we are also going to get a chance to meet some children from the Smilai tribe. Huh? Smilai tribe? Oops, it's time to go back.
to our classroom. Um, hey, why don't we meet at my house this afternoon? Say 3 o'clock and we'll talk some more about trip, okay? Remember to inform your parents and to get the permission. I won't have any problem. My mom will surely say yes. No, you are not going to Tasebaro. It's Tasebaro, mom. Whatever, you are not going. Your exams are coming up soon. Anyway, I feel very uncomfortable about you going so far away on your own. Please, mom, please. I'm going to say this one more time. No. Oh, no. Let's have a party. Gosh, it's three o'clock. Where's Anand? He's late. Mm, I know. I'm here. My mom won't let me go. <sighs> You're joking. At this point in time, the word joke does not exist in my vocabulary. Uh. Oh, Anand, I'm so sorry to hear that. Maybe you've changed your mind. My mom changed her mind. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. Hello. Shalene here. Hi, Shalene. Auntie, we just heard from Anand that he won't be able to go to Tassibura. Why, Auntie? Why won't let him go? Surely, it's because his exams are around the corner. And I feel very uncomfortable. When he goes to a place where there's a lot of water, it just frightens me. But Auntie, I know you're such a brilliant and hardworking boy. And since we always revise our work together, I don't think it will affect his studies at all. That's true, Sherlyn, but... Besides, without Anand, we would never have won this competition in the first place. We would all feel terrible and lost if he did not come along. It would be as if a part of us was missing. Please, Auntie, please let him go. I don't know, Shalin. I... We need Anand! 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 We need... Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, alright. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Auntie, bye! Yes, yes. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Good. Wow. I didn't know I meant so much to all of you. Thanks for saying all those nice things about me. Don't believe everything you hear, Anand. Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get on to business. I've made a list of things that we have to do. Number one. We have to contact Anshit Zaharuddin. And tell him that we're coming. Number two. I think we should get some gifts for the Sunai children. Number three. We have to pack. Number four. We have to... Oops, there's no number four. Er, uh, Shaleen, who are these Malay people? I'll answer that. These Malay are the Orang Asli who have lived in Tasik Bara for more than 600 years. They depend on the lake and the forest for their survival. But some of them are really quite modern, just like you and me. Day. Oh no, I'm going to fall ill and I won't be able to go to Tasebara. Ouch. Ow. Pink. Ouch. Can you see that? Gosh, you're right. It expired yesterday. I'm so sorry. But I don't think anything will happen to you. It's only one day of the expiry date. How about you guys? Are your dreams okay? Mm, yes, okay. Okay. So, when shall we go shopping? On Wednesday. I don't think all of us need to go. Why not we ladies do it? Yeah, that'll be fun. After all, women are better shoppers. Yeah, right. Let me share it. 
that forgot to look at the expiry date before buying the drink. And ladies, relax, Alan. Everyone makes mistakes. Trust us. You'll shop smartly. I think we should buy some of these. They're delicious and cheap. Which one shall we buy? Mm. Let me see. They both cost one we get a packet. Mm. I think we should take this one. Why? Because this has 12 bars in it, or this has 15, so we get more wafers for the same price. So, how many packets shall we buy? Six should be fine. Pencils, 10 in a box, made in Malaysia, price 250. 2B pencils, 12 in a box, made in China, price 250. Made in Malaysia. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you have to check the expiry dates on the pencil? What? Expiry dates? On pencil? Just joking. Do you want to learn how to be a smart shopper? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Okay, let's see what tips I can give you. Hmm. Number one, always look out for sales or special offers when you go shopping. These offers are usually advertised in newspapers and even on television. Number two, prepare a shopping list. It will help you to save time and not buy things that you do not need. Number three, compare the price of two or more items before you decide which one to buy. Number four, compare the size and weight of what you want to buy with another similar product. Number five, do not buy things just because they look beautiful. It's what's inside that really matters. Number six, always check the expiry date on things that you buy, especially food. The expiry date is the date on which something can no longer be used. Number seven, buy Malaysian. Our products are just as good as those from other countries. And finally, Number eight. <laughs> Buy only what is necessary. 
Oh yes, one more thing. Avoid using too many plastic bags. They are not good for the environment. Reuse them. Happy shopping. I'm Zahruddin. I hope you had a pleasant trip here. Yes, we certainly did. Thank you for this opportunity. You are most welcome. You deserve it for all the hard work you did on that reverse index project. Let me tell you the plan for today. We go out on a boat ride across the lake and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have about Tasikbera and the wetlands. Then we go over to the other side of the lake where we'll meet some friends of us from the Sumlai tribe. By the way, I'm a Sumlai too. When we get back, I'll take you to the resort where you will be staying. Uh, you can leave your bags here. Let me tell you about this plant. Uh, this plant is called the kerecut. Okay, it is used by the Sumulai to make their traditional handicrafts. For example, uh, mats and baskets. So the smaller fish like to stay inside the between the roots of the kerecut. To avoid enemy. Yeah, they are, they are avoiding the predators. Eh? Yeah. And also, uh, 
the kerucut helps to clean the water in the lake because they absorb uh, uh, the waste that is uh, brought by the water. Okay. So if you look over there, uh, the rasa plant also have fruits. How do they do it? Okay, uh, they take the plant and then they clean it. Okay, they clean the inside, and then they put the rice in, and then they close the lid, and then they boil it in some hot water. Mm -hmm. 